guys um, today I'm gonna do something different and uh, this is not something I'm making uh, this is about improving the trigger on the APS cam uh, 870 to do that um, you don't need much uh, don't need shells got here two punches um, small one big one this is four millimeters like this here and this is just I don't know it's about two millimeters I'd say uh, if you want to improve something on the original um, you need something like this it's a fine file also used for gunsmithing and I got here the original uh, trigger assembly got the made in China here down below if you can see it yeah so this is the original um, I already did some to make this a bit better um, I had the problem when you cock it now it's cocked I had to press the trigger far 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 in the back um, I'll show you when I do some improvement here how you can make the trigger pull way 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 better here I got from Ray thank you Ray this is an original uh, 870 trigger box or trigger unit it's got a really really sweet trigger pull short very very crisp um, you could, you see Ray uh, took some material off here, um, it almost fits, I expanded this part here to use the original part, um, but then um, for the pins to fit, I'm missing like, I don't know, half a millimeter for the pins to go perfect, I'm going to take this one off, it's making me itch. Um, but I didn't like it was hanging a bit lower than the original I didn't like that um, so what I'm gonna do here today is show you how to take the original parts um, that you want and put it in the your parts or and how to um, to improve the original first gonna put this to the side um, to take this apart I had to drill this out here it was um, was pinned over it uh, it's had this small spades here and was uh, crimped over the edge of it and um, I drilled it all drilled it so I could take it off and I uh, took the small punch and I punched it through so first release the trigger <laughs> yeah like I said I expanded this hole here to fit the other one it's half a millimeter uh, bigger than this but this hole is way too big so I opted for the original well not anymore of course um, the springs I gonna use afterwards I'm gonna use the original springs since um, since I don't want to put extra wear on the other parts, it's if you use harder metal, stronger springs, you're gonna get some. Yeah, the original parts gonna get get the get the hell kicked out of them. So, original spring. Um, there are some tricks here. Um, I'm gonna show them to you. This one is. Pretty easy though, I'm just going to punch this here out. So, I'm going to keep all the original parts to the right. Like you, <laughs> I don't want to stay there. So, um, this is the original trigger part. Um, I really like the trigger, it's nicer, it feels better on here. 
and uh, I'm going to put that in the other one. See, Remington here. Um, I wanted to put this here in there because I like the click. It's a bit bigger, but um, I tried it. I have to expand the hole on the other trigger box for about half a millimeter, and I don't want to do that. So it stays in here. So to get this one out, you got two possibilities. You put pull this here out. We already did that one comes out on itself. But on the other one, I'm going to show another trick. Here I can just press this through. Out it comes. You could also just tap it with a bit of love and it will get out there. So this here is the original Remington sear. Um, now, I'm going to press this one out just a tad. I'm going to try. Last time I did this, this here came. Yeah, I just released it. It, it came. <laughs> I had a shit ton of luck. It ended in a box. I could see where it went, but it shot out because when this here gets pulled to the side, it releases it. <laughs> it just gets out there. So now I got the pin, the original hammer. Um, I could pick this all the way out and I'll get this one. I don't want to use this one um, for the other one because the other ones fit. And on the trigger box you got this spring here. Well, now this just have the, the safety part in there. Um, well, I'll just leave it up here. So, I'll do this the easiest way possible. I'll let this pin here halfway out and I can pull out the, the hammer. Um, that way all this won't get moved to the side. I will take these apart the same way as I did the other one. Um, this here. Um, if you can see that down the hole, the trigger can go back. So when you put that in there afterwards, you just press the trigger, trigger slightly and uh, there will be room for it. But first, I'll take this sear spring out of there. Um, I'll just press this pin here, this here, it just goes very nicely out of there. Um, So, triggers out. You can see they're pretty much the same. Um, if you would try to take the original um, trigger, you'd have some problem with the reset because. Oh, see here. Um, to shoot. I think it pushes down here and then it goes up here and stays but it won't come all the way down when you're shooting so you have to change all parts or no parts so now I'll just press this one halfway out just across taking care of this here to just across the hammer part I'm just going to press this in here for the time being. Um, you could remove all this here, these, and this, and it'd be easier to get this one out of here. But like I told you, you need to press the pin from in there. You see here the hole there makes it come out here. But if you got a bit of patience and just a little bit of wriggling, you got some. Yeah, 
you see it's already, already coming out there. Yep. Oh, there you go. So, now we got the sear here. So, I'm going to put that here to the side. And I'll show you how well fit the original is. Um... We'll see here. I'll just put it a bit more up there. Try to hit it. So. You see? It's a very, very fine fit there. It looks almost like one piece. It ain't though. So. These here, I already improved them um, quite a bit, um, but if you look at these here, you'll see the noodle is nice. What you would do to improve it, you would take this here, and the shelf here, you just shorten it. Just take your time and you just, this is hardened, I think, it's pretty hard anyhow. Oh, you just do this for like, with patience and just like an hour. Um, the angle here, don't matter, uh, don't matter much. You keep it pretty, pretty straight. Um, not too angled because then the point would be weaker, it would be thin. If you just take like down here straight, it will be way better. But on this part you need to do exactly the same. You just take your time with a fine tool and just make it shorter. And you would really have to, to this here. I had problems sometimes um, with pulling the trigger. It wouldn't go back far enough. All, always to, to, to let it go. Now I took, I think, half a millimeter off here. And uh, if I had to play with these, I would take a bit more off. Um, now, what's funny is, you can see the same tool marks here. It's this here was polished on the end, it's straight, and this here, straight too, I'll see if I can get it up there. Um, looks like they were made very, very short, a day. it's a sweet trigger, they, these two here. Um, I really like it, so I'm gonna put these in here. They're a bit thinner than the than the original uh, than the original APS, um, but I haven't had any issues with them. Um, I built it back just for you guys, <laughs> you guys, just so I could show it. But now, um, first thing is pulling the pin halfway out again, like here. I'll take the on the right original uh, and put him in there and then just find the hole and checking that this is almost flush and here should stay out a bit more I think yeah now it's it's flush with the surface here then everything is okay flush here stand out a bit there. I think they were thinking about in the beginning putting a some kind of locking on there but there ain't any. So just check this has movement. You see it can, it can move a bit to the side but not a problem. So we're gonna take the original sear. You take the, the part here where it connects you take it on the up. Um, 
really easy. I'll put in the original trigger, I think, just to show you the problem I had. This here is really easy, so I just ah, really easy to do wrong. Um, when you do this, you need to make sure that this here goes all the way down below this here. If you don't, it ain't gonna work. Probably ain't gonna break, but it ain't gonna work. So, just put in the spring here, like this. And put it in here, just to, so. This is the original. Let's see. Is it? It ain't releasing it because it ain't. It is not going all the way down where it can influence it. You have to. I think you have to move this. Take this one out. Yeah, it can go back a bit more. Um, but still not enough. So, like I told you. Um, if you change some of these parts, you usually need to change more of them. So, original trigger, part below this here, fella. So. Um, so. There. there we don't go. What? So, just gonna put this in here before I set it down. Just release the trigger. Pretty lucky, nothing was in the way. So, so. Short, sweet. Well, looks like it doesn't have to go all the way below. I'm kind of stumped here, but since it's working, um, Yeah, so, like I told you before, um, to make this a shorter trigger pull, you shorten the ledge here. And you, if you make it sharper, and the part here sharper too, you'd get a crisper trigger pull. If the edges are round, it'll hold and then it'll kind of jerk off, kind of, just slide off there you don't you wouldn't get the crisp almost there and gone you just get like soft gone but since they are candid a bit it's not straight it's going well it wants to keep itself down then you get that heavier and you you feel it and then it comes and just keep the side straight on the back polish them fine and you could make the original trigger pack um, way way better so you see here this here got a bit of wiggle room but when it can put you back here it doesn't have any room to go anywhere else It'll, it's being kept in there um, and for you guys who got trouble charging um, that's when you charge it forward again you need to take care of this here it's got needs to be a bit beveled on the inside that this here can move freely behind it very important freely behind this part Just point here if this 
isn't beveled on the inside, you can have the, this here get stuck on the edge and it'll keep here. When you pull it forward, it'll you won't get it past here. It'll stay there and you couldn't pull it all the way forward where it goes and locks uh, the bolt here. So you got problems or this here isn't running smoothly behind there. You need to bevel this thing here on the back side. So um, I hope you liked it. Something different, just a bit of tuning. Um, if you want to see some other stuff, uh, feel free to comment. Thanks guys. Bye.